Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So as many of you know, in our group, UK Cricket Creators, and you don't need to be in the UK to join, we do monthly free events. We normally do sort of between six and eight, and every month we do a Dreaming Tree event. Now, I never do a video on how you can put these together because Leo over at Dreaming Tree does a great job and he doesn't need me parroting. However, what we do do is a ready to cut video. So for those of you that join us for the Dreaming Tree events, you know that we like to have all of our pieces pre-cut. It just reduces down time. 12 by 12 cardstock is becoming more available in the UK, but it's a slow burner. And so we always show you how you can change it from 12 by 12 to A4. So we're doing this beautiful, beautiful, exquisite gift box. I absolutely love this. It really reminds me of a Fabergé egg, which I'm never going to get a real one, but at least I can have a made one. And once I've downloaded it, I can open it up. So I always click the three dots and do show in folder. I can then select it and then open up this folder. And we want to open up the SVG folder. And you can see here, we've got two types of files. So we've got our files with our perforated lines and there's also solid score lines in there as well. I personally prefer the perforated lines because I keep those as a cut. I find keeping a perforated line as a cut works extremely well, especially with heavier cardstock. I get a much neater fold but you can do solid score lines if you want to. It does obviously reduce down your cut time. What I will say is when you bring them in, those solid score lines are actually quite often set to cut. So you want to make sure that A, you change them to score, and B, that you attach them. But I'm gonna use the perforated ones today. And what I'm going to do is just select them and then bring these across to my pictures so that I can easily find them. So if we then come into Design Space, we can go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse. I'm going to bring in the first file and you can see it comes in because it's an SVG. It's a cut image. It's got its image name, which I always keep because Leo and his team do label them really well. And then of course I can give it a tag. So I will just give it a tag of DT and then upload. And I'm gonna do that for every single one of those files. And there's actually 10 of these to bring in. Once they're all uploaded, I can then select them all and insert them to my canvas. Now these are all set to 12 by 12. So if I'm cutting out in 12 by 12 cardstock, all I'm going to do is because these are perforated lines, they're set to cut, I'm gonna leave them as cut. And all I'm gonna do is just attach them together. And then once I've done all of that, I can go and cut them. If they are a solid line, I need to make sure that I change the cut to a score and then attach them and then I can go and cut. That's if I'm doing it in 12 by 12 cardstock. So I just want to go through what these pieces actually are before we start amending them for A4. So the first two pieces are these two pieces here and these are your actual egg. Now you will see a small amount of the card peeking through. You don't see a huge amount of it, but you do want to think about the color that you're using because as I say, you will actually see some of this. These two purple pieces, not the flowers, but these two pieces here are the base. And again, you'll see a very small amount of the card. Most of it does get covered. But again, think about the colour because you will see just a very small amount of both of these pieces. Everything else is visible. So these over here are the pattern pieces of your egg. So these actually go on top 
of this piece here. So you are going to see these. And if you look in your layers panel, it does actually say pattern. These are some of your flowers. You're going to see those. This is the rosette that goes around the base. You're going to see that. These are some gold foil pieces. So we've got two gold foil leaves, a little um, flower piece. We've got a stamen of the flower. And then this gold piece here goes on top of your base. So you're going to see those. You'll obviously see your purple flowers. We've got some green leaves and some green flowers here, which you're going to see. And then these blue pieces are actually the white glitter. So if we actually look at the egg, it doesn't look white there, it looks pink, but there is a white glitter trim at the bottom. And there's also some white glitter leaf pieces as well. But as you can see from this, you do see a little tiny bit of colour from that base. And just peeking through, you'll see a slight colouring of the egg itself so the card underneath you do see just very slightly so we want to try and change these to a4 so nice and easy for these all we're going to do is duplicate it and we're going to click on our layers panel and we're just going to select the cut so not the perforated cut or the score lines we're just going to select the cut Go to our contour, which is at the bottom of our layers. And for this one, we're just going to contour away those pieces. We're going to do the same with this one. So we're going to select it in our layers panel. The first thing we're going to do is contour away that cut. So again, we're just going to get the contour tool and remove those bottom pieces. And then all we're going to do is select the perforated cut or the score line and just make sure that that itself is selected, not the entire grouped piece, but just the perforated cut or the score line and delete. And that will then give you those two pieces, those two pattern pieces as A4. We're going to do the same with this one. So we're going to duplicate it. And again, it's exactly the same process. So I'm going to select the cut, open up my contour, and just remove those top pieces. And then for this one, again, select the cut, go to my contour, remove those, and then make sure just the perforation is selected and delete it and you can do that by using your layers panel so if you click on the whole grouping it will select the whole group but if you just select the perforated or the score line then just that will be selected and you can delete it now this is already set to a4 but you might decide that actually you want them to be different so you might want your leaves for example not to be in a gold foil if that's the case, you're just going to duplicate it. And then with the duplicate, we're going to go to our contour. And we're just going to contour away these pieces. And we could then change them to a different shade of green if we want. So I'm just going to go to advanced on my color palette and just make them a different green. And then with this one, if we go to our contour, we can then contour away those leaves. So those I will cut out in gold foil. And because I don't want those in gold foil, I could then cut them out in a green foil or whatever color I wanted to do if I did want to separate them. Same with this, you probably want to separate your flowers to this here, plus this is 12 by 12. So all we're going to do is duplicate it. And we're just going to select the cut layer Go to our contour and just contour out those flowers. Now when we do that, this is still larger 
than A4. So if you want to cut the base in A4, you're going to duplicate it again. And we only actually need to duplicate the cut, not the score lines, because when we open up our contour, we can get rid of that larger one. So that leaves us the little hexagon. And then with this one, if we select the cut, we can go to contour and contour away the little one. And we haven't then had to play with any of the perforations or the score lines. And then with this one, if we select those score lines, we can just delete them straight away. And then we can use our contour to actually have our flowers. So I'm then going to make my flowers a lighter purple. These flowers are set to A4, so I don't need to change them. And the rosette is also set to A4, so I don't need to change that. My green leaves are set to A4, so I don't need to change those. And then I've got my white glitter cardstock pieces. I am going to keep them as white glitter, but if you did want to change them so the leaves were different, all you're going to do is duplicate them. And the, both the leaves and those trim pieces do have score lines. So I'm going to select just the cut first and I'm going to contour away the two roses. And then I'm going to select the score lines or the perforated cuts. And then I can just remove the ones from the roses. And of course you can zoom in to make it easier. The other thing is that all the rose ones are at an angle and the trim ones are straight. So you can actually use this to remove all the angular pieces if you're struggling to actually select them. That then leaves those. And of course with this one, if we select the cut, we can remove the trim pieces. And if we select the perforated cuts or the solid score lines, we can then remove these pieces. And again, if you go down this panel and you're struggling to get hold of them, it's all of the straight lines that you want to remove. I say straight, you know what I mean, vertical. I think it's vertical. You also want to remember to attach your perforated cuts or your solid score lines. So I'm just going to come in and attach these. And I'm just going to change the color on those leaves to a different shade of green. I'm going to attach those together. I need to attach those and those. I need to attach the score lines on here, on my rosette, and on my flowers. That then leaves us with these two beauties. So we are going to zoom in so we can see what we're doing. Now the great thing about this is that these two pieces are perfectly identical. So that means we only actually have to do the process once rather than twice or four times actually. So we only actually have to amend the one. And the great thing is that we've got our two so we don't need to do any duplicates either. So I'm going to turn these into A4. So I'm going to select one of them. And I'm going to get the cut layer first and go to my contour. And I'm simply going to remove that top piece and that little hexagon or octagon. You just know that I, I can't, I'm terrible with my shapes. We then want to remove all of those score lines. So we're going to make sure that just the score lines or the perforated cut lines are selected. 
go to our contour and then we are going to have to come in and remove these so you are going to want to zoom in so that you can start removing them unfortunately you can't slice them away which is a bit of a shame but it is what it is we're then going to draw around that and attach our cut and our perforated cut or our solid score lines together and then you're going to duplicate it so that you've got two of those bottom pieces. So then we're going to do this one and again we're going to select the cut, open up our contour and we're going to contour away the bottom piece. So that then leaves us with the top part of our egg and our little hexagon. We can then select our perforated cuts or our solid score lines and again we then need to open up our contour tool and this time we're going to remove all of those bottom either solid score lines or perforated cut lines. Once that one's done, all we're going to do is attach the pieces together and then duplicate that one. So we've got two egg tops and two egg bottoms for our actual egg structure. So that's then all your pieces ready to go for A4. So we've separated our pattern pieces, so they're now A4 ready. So those are your pattern pieces for the front of your egg. We've got our actual egg structure pieces, which we've separated into A4. We've got our two base pieces. And again, you will see a little bit of the color on those and the egg structure itself, but not a huge amount. Everything else though, you are going to see. So then we've got our pink flowers, our purple flowers, we've got all our different leaf pieces and of course we change those from a gold foil to leaf. We've then got our gold foil pieces, our white glitter trim and our patterned rosette. So that is now all ready to cut in A4. As I say if you're going to cut in 12 by 12 it's nice and simple if they're perforated cuts, you leave them as they are and you just attach them and you go to make it. If they are solid score lines, you need to change them from a cut to a score, attach them to their appropriate cut pieces and then go to make it. Or you can obviously change them to A4 appropriate. I'm so excited for this one. There's a lot of inking and things to do on this and really sort of embellishing, which I'm so excited about. So it'll be a really nice class uh, but hopefully this has helped if anyone's got any questions then please do send me a message but apart from that i'll see you all again soon bye